Hi, welcome to my channel, Jesus Loving Mama. My name is Sheena, and today we're going to take a look inside BJU Press Math 2. This is the curriculum that my daughter will be using this fall. I'm not going to be doing a review on it today. We're just going to take a look and see what it comes with and what's all inside so you can have a better idea if it's uh, something you would like to use for your child. So let's start with the kit. Um, inside the kit you get a work text, the student work text. You also get a review book for additional worksheets and then you get the review answer key. You get the teacher's edition book and then you get some student manipulatives that I've put inside of a binder and I'll show you those. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the student work text here on top. As you can see, it has the easy to tear pages, so you can just rip them out. Um, we've started it already, so this is chapter four. They start learning about time. And so it just gives you an idea what the worksheets look like here. Each chapter has a to the parent letter. in the middle now. Got some money. Multiplication. Then this is what they're doing by the end. Okay. The review book is just the same, just more worksheets. And it's no, there's no color in it. So see, this is what they would be doing in chapter one is stuff like this. This was lesson two, lesson four. And they're just easy to rip out as well. More chapter one. Then we move on to chapter two where they go into subtraction. And then we have chapter three. Let's take a look in the middle here. Okay. And this is just the answer key to the review book. See all the answers are in red. Here's the teacher's edition. And this is Matt. There's a little Matt and oh Patty's not on there, but Patty's his friend. Here's Patty. And they have different projects that they're doing. So there's different stories. Each chapter. New problem. So here's the table of contents. You can see they start with addition facts, subtraction facts, and place value. A lot of this is just review from first grade. And then time and calendar. For four. And you have chapter five, addition two digit, subtraction two digit. And so they break it up into different um, topics. And then once you master that, you can move on to the next one. And here's their approach, if you can see that there. So students will understand math so that they can become problem solvers. And they'll develop a biblical worldview. And they use manipulatives. So let's take a look at a lesson here. So you have your objectives here, and then your materials and manipulatives that you're going to need. But they also have them listed at the beginning of each chapter, which is nice. So I just pull them out and make sure I have them in a folder for that time while we're doing the, this chapter. And then you do some practice and review. And usually you warm up with some number facts here. And review what you've learned before. Not the same stuff every day though, it's always different. And then you can see in the black it tells you to what to do or what to have your student do and the blue is what the teacher is supposed to say and then the pink is the answer 
what the student should be giving. And then the green are the word problems that you read to your student and they solve them. This is the student work page with the answers. Okay, so this is the lesson on time, and then we have chapter five. This is the two digit. And see so here, every chapter starts with a story, and they look at their picture, and you have little puppets that you can use. So that's what the inside looks like there. Now let me show you, it comes with a CD. This is a lot of the materials that you'll need for each chapter and each lesson. So what I did, I went on and I printed those off and I'll show you what I did with them. And here's the manipulative binder. We'll put up in here, as you can see, we have um, Matt and Patty here, the little puppets that come visit. And then the number 100 chart in the back. And this shows a chart, Serving God with Math. So it explains that to you, how they relate um, God and math together. So that's nice. And then here's what I do with the instructional resources that I get from the CD. I go ahead and print them off for the year, and then I label chapter one, chapter three, you know, chapter two. And I just go ahead and put them all in one page protector. And then that way, I, when we get to that chapter, I just pull it out and I have everything ready. When we get to a new chapter, I just come grab the next one and put the other one back in. So that makes it really easy, so I'm prepared. So there's all those for the book. Um, and then I divide the manipulatives into different tabs here, if you can read them. I have place value. So I put all the place value documents in here, counters, the charts, and then the clock. Here's some number lines. Here's some money. We actually have money, play money, so I don't, I didn't want to punch all these out, so we're not going to use those, but I did punch out some pennies. <laughs> And then there's the fractions. We haven't got there yet, so I haven't got those punched out, but I got a few started here. And then we have shapes that I've labeled. We're going to start using those as well. And then I labeled the last one just others here. And we got the greater than, we got less than, we have number cards. Okay, and then these are little beaver counters with the little 10 frame. And then your temperature. And then I put in the very back, I put the tests. So I have them. These are the answers. And then the ones I give to her are back here. So that's how I organize math. And there's also flashcards you get to. So the triangle ones. So you cover up one, that's subtraction. You cover up the top, that's addition. So that's fun. We go through those. We use those a lot. So that's a look inside BJU Math 2. And if you have any questions about it, let me know and I'll try to answer them as best I can or direct you in where you need to go. And the link will be below for, the, for BJU as well. So thanks for watching my channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.